Good morning all. So in my last video I used a rotary encoder to control the character in a game I'm working on called Twang, uh, but I didn't like how you can't spin it freely. I looked into optical encoders, they do spin freely and they use a light source and a light detector uh, to count uh, the revolutions, but looking on eBay they are quite expensive. Now I do have these small uh, 3.3 volt DC motors and I do know that when you turn them they, they generate electricity and hooking it up to my multimeter I see that if I turn it in one direction I get a negative voltage and if I turn it in the other direction I get a positive voltage and these are incredibly cheap I picked up uh, four of them on Amazon for uh, just under eight dollars uh, if I had been more patient, I could have got five from eBay for just under four dollars. And if we hook this up to our Arduino between uh, ground and an analog input, we can record uh, the motor turning in one direction, but not in the other because the Arduino can't read negative voltages. If we create a voltage divider between uh, five volt and the analog input, and then between the analog input and ground using 1k resistors and we did an analog read on that pin we'll get a value of about 512. Now if we insert the motor uh, between ground and the analog input it'll behave in exactly the same way as the, the straight wire when it's not turning. However when we turn it in one direction we will add on to the 512 and when we turn it in the other direction we will subtract from it. Now here I've recreated that circuit with the two 1K resistors and the motor. And as you can see, as I, as I turn it this way, we just dip below 512 and turning it the other way, we rise above it. Now at this stage, it was getting quite hard to turn the motor at any, any sort of speed. So I quickly modeled a, a knurled knob in 3D Studio Max and printed it on my Zortrax M200 printer. Here's the finished product. I've put a small black dot on the top so you can better see it spin on camera and as you can see it spins quite freely. So to use this in my game to control the position of the player I first take the analog read value and divide it by 2 to make it slightly less sensitive and then subtract 256. I then update player position based on this value. Now you can easily see that as I, as I spin the wheel in one direction and the other, it counts up and counts down. Now to go one step further and make this even easier to visualize, I've created this uh, simple sketch that has an empty string with two characters either end. I then set the character at the player position uh, to a zero. And as you can see, as I turn the knob, the, the zero representing the player's position moves back and forth. I find this a much easier way to to visualize the, the change in a value than to look at a, a raw number. If you found this video interesting, you should check out the Arduino-based game that this was created for uh, called Twang, uh, a link to which is in the description. And if you want to see more like this, then hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.